Okay, we're out with the Fox 3 meter glider. Do a bit of a special test today. I've got my transport dolly, which basically is a dolly so it can be used for taking off also. In most cases, you probably find somewhere you can use a dolly wherever you go flying. Um, it's the safest way to have a plane take off because it must be flying to lift off um, off the ground out of the dolly. So basically you know it's flying and off it goes. But today we're going to give it a test throw. Now normally throwing smaller aircraft or gliders is a very simple task. Um, gliders have a lot of lift so even a big glider will fly off reasonably easy. Um, one slight difference of this, this is five kilograms, maybe a fraction over. That's a lot of weight to be holding above yourself um, and you definitely can. You've also got to throw that in a decent manner so it doesn't go out of control immediately and it'll probably need between 20 and 30 kilometers an hour forward motion to truly be able to fly. Now the motor on this is extremely powerful. Um, it can climb at about 80 degrees vertically non-stop. So that means it's got plenty of power to fly away if you did throw it. So it really shouldn't be a problem, but, but it is an unknown. The difference or the, the period between your throw, how wonky or straight you throw it, and the power taking over to make it fly when it can't actually fly until that 20 kilometers an hour. Now that may only take two lengths, but it could be diving into the ground before that or who knows so if you throw something this big you're at a risk versus a dolly is much better but what I'm going to do to um, verify how this flies when you hand launch it first I'm going to fly it off the dolly I've got a flight controller which has auto level and I can control angles so I'll just do a quick test to make sure that's operating correctly because what that will allow is um, you, you can actually set for a climb angle straight wings um, hold the glider, power up, and use two hands to throw it, which means you'll have a much better throw, and the flight controller will fly it for you. That will verify what manner it flies out of your hand at, because two hands, you'll be very stable, a lot of energy, uh, far safer than one hand, which you sort of have to balance the glider and then try and propel it with one hand on a round, quite slippery fuselage. But So that's to verify what how does it fly, what sort of energy does it need with two hands so and then you can step down to one hand if you know yeah that was really simple one hand will be no problem if one two hand was very risky and flaky anyway then you might not even want to do one hand but a lot of people are throwing one handed so it definitely can be done it's just that there is a much bigger risk than taking off from the ground on a dolly so anyway we'll get it flying to test the flight controller in its auto level mode make sure that's all set correctly so we're ready for the fox to take off um, just a demonstration of the auto level mode so a pot on the transmitter is set to I can dial in up to a 30% command um, which basically results in so you can see the elevator goes up I've dialed in that I want a certain angle of climb it will maintain that up elevator until that desired angle is achieved what it, I don't know what the angle exactly is but if I lift the plane up I'm not touching the sticks or anything you'll see that at a certain angle as it's coming up 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 the elevator is now level that is the angle that the plane is going to climb if I dialed in full pot dialing in less pot it does make the elevator move linear but that's irrelevant to the actual um, climb angle it will use whatever elevator it needs to achieve whatever that pot position means in an angle. So if it was 10 degrees, the elevator, if you're in a dive and you turned it on at once out of 10 degrees, the elevator would go up a lot. So, so that's a variation that they will use whatever they need to achieve the goal. So well, we're going to take off in normal mode, fly past, make sure that the... Um, make sure that the um, auto level mode and my control of it all works fine so i'm climbing at 
60% throttle, that's the angle roughly that if I put maximum onto the um, auto level mode, that's about the climb angle it would do. So I'm just going to glide for a minute while I retrieve the dolly and take that back. See how far it's going to end up gliding. Still going pretty fast, but we should get right about here. It rolls a long way. Okay, we're ready with the Fox. Um, I've done all the tests on the throttle amounts and what the thrust feels like. So we're ready to do a two-handed test. So what I'm going to do is the transmitter goes on the ground here. Um, throttle position doesn't matter. That's controlled by um, a setting, which is actually the throttle trim. I can vary what the thrust level will go to. I've set it to about 70%, so I felt that feels like a good strong amount. I'm using half of the pot in climb, so the angle you can see the elevator, um, I guess if we lift the plane up and tilt it, we'll see that's the angle it's going to try and climb at, about 15, 20 degrees. I've got low level flaps on them, I'll just test with those straight away, um, they should be no issue at all. So what happens is I've got five seconds from when I flick the activation switch, the throttle will rev up. I can keep holding it during that time and whenever I want I can just throw it. Um, the aim of two hands is just to be sure that I give it a decent throw. Just make sure there's no one around for this to crash into because maybe it won't do what it's supposed to do. So theoretically I can just throw it, no rush to pick up the transmitter because the flight controller is just going to make it fly straight off into the distance there with a slight climb. I better not aim to power the light poles or anything. Um, I should be able to get back to the transmitter within three seconds roughly, but there's just no big rush. So what we'll do is, I'm going to decide how I'm going to pick this up. I didn't really test that. I would probably pick it up from the front. So I'll pick it up, hold the wing. Um, so I'll be holding it like that. And then then I can give it a decent throw. So, so we'll flick the switch. Someone's running across the park here at high speed. I've got a feeling he's keeping on going, so we'll wait a second. I don't know where he's going to run across. He's going to run back. He's probably warming up for cricket. Oh well, we'll flick the switch. We'll just make sure he goes a long way. The switch is flicked. We better auto fly it. Five seconds. No, because I didn't turn the throttle cut off. <laughs> well done. Because the throttle cut still overrides it. And now we've got five seconds. Full throttle. Well, that was a, I rushed down the transmitter, dropped the camera, but that's it flying off. I haven't taken over yet. So, I'll switch it off. So anyway, I'm in um, throttle off and I'm flying it now. Well, it's supposed to be throttle off, but it's not. Uh, I actually didn't flip the right switch off. <laughs> so now we're gliding. So I'm back in normal mode, just gliding. The only thing over here I don't like is that tree because my depth perception is so bad I'd probably hit that tree and if I don't go out further this thing's going to glide a mile. So I'm on full flaps. That's, so that's the sort of flying speed it needs. My guesstimation is 20 kilometers an hour.